So about three years ago, uh, when we moved here, this was basically just a tin roof and the post holding it up. Um, nothing more. There's no coop. There's no no netting, no steel netting, no nothing. Um, I think you just park tractors or something underneath here. But uh, that first summer we moved here, we decided, well, we always knew we wanted chickens. Um, and this was a perfect, perfect place to build them, build for them. Because it was already, it already had a roof. It already had somewhat of a frame. Um, so that's what we did. Um, and so far, it's been very successful. Uh, so to start from kind of the outside, uh, this, this whole run is basically completely sealed in by this wired netting, uh, wire fencing stuff, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's sealed from about a foot underground all the way to the top to the, to the metal roofing, um, all the way around to the coop, you know, all the way, completely sealed. Um, we haven't had any issues with predators getting in. Um, I'm sure maybe a small weasel or something could get in there, but I, I, don't, I don't know if we really have those here. The, at least they, we haven't had any, any issues that we know of uh, with them. Um, so that's the basic, I guess, security that we have for predators. I also got a little, you can get these little motion light things um, that work great. They're solar charged. Um, you can screw them anywhere. They're super cheap. They're on Amazon. Uh, you can put those around, um, and then whenever anything walks by, they flip on for, you know, 10 seconds. And that scares them out. It's kind of cool. You can, we'll see it go on, and we'll look out here, and there'll be a fox sniffing around. Um, but, yeah, we have, we've we had no issues. So uh, that's the basic outside. So we'll do a quick walk around. Um, so, yeah, like I said, it's fully insulated. This uh, This outer little square here. This we made this year, uh, we moved our quail out here. We had them inside um, in the little nest boxes you can get. Um, the nest boxes are pretty cool, but we just didn't really like the. We felt they were just too cooped up. Um, and we, we thought they'd be more happy out here. Um, and they are. They like being outside. They're hanging out with the chickens. They're really skittish, though. Uh, but they're fun. I think they enjoy it out, outside here a little more. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of a separate deal. Um, I, I might make a video about the quail, uh, at some point, but, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's fully, it's fully sealed. Um, no predators can get in. Um, they, they can't dig unless they want to dig, you know, a foot over a foot under, under the ground. That's the only way they can get in. Uh, when, when you know, when the door's closed. So now we're inside the run. Um, and this is the coop. So how I built this is they got a little ramp up to like a deck area. And I made the deck area because I thought it would be nice to have a place where we can put their food and water, uh, which we usually do keep up there. Right now the, the water's over kind of by the quail area because they're both plugged into the same uh, little plug thing. But, um, yeah, we usually keep their food. Sometimes I keep it inside their coop um, in the winter. Um, I thought maybe you keep the mice out, but I don't, I don't, I, don't, I think the mice are just going to go wherever, but, uh, but yeah, that's, that's basically it. They got a ramp, they can climb up a little deck and then a door. Um, and this door actually has a sliding, uh, if I want to, I can let it loose and it slides down and completely seals it off. Um, I used it quite a bit the first year in the winter when it was really cold, but I find he, I didn't really need to close it, because um, I'll talk about in a little bit here uh, how we seal this this run in uh, for the winter, so it keeps them more warm. But what we got here, this is a door, and I made it so it doesn't swing. Uh, it basically just comes off, and I did that so it seals really tight. Um, it seals really tight because if it's swung, I mean, you could build it probably different with an overlapping thing, but um, I just did that because it, it was simple and it holds it holds really well. Um, and I also have a window in there that opens. Um, so if, we usually just leave it open. Uh, it just provides good venting. Um, and this door, the other, I mean, mainly the main reason you want a door like this is to clean it out. Um, so we can get in there with a rake, scoop everything. We, 
we put a wheelbarrow right here and we just scoop everything into a wheelbarrow and bring it off to our uh, compost area. Um, so yeah, it, it works really well. Let's take a look inside. Okay, inside here, uh, you can see we got some perches, perch there, perch there, uh, and then we got two nesting boxes that they're really, they're pretty good at using. Um, most of the time, all the eggs, they do lay in there. Uh, sometimes they'll, uh, I found one a little bit ago in the corner there. Um, but they, they do tend to lay in the nesting box area. Um, so then we got a uh, heating lamp, uh, another window. That window, it's, it's basically just a piece of plexiglass pinched between the uh, wood. Um, so it's super, if you really want to do a cheap window, you can just do that. It doesn't open, but it, it provides light in there, a little sunlight for them. Um, facing south, that way is south, so, you know, in the winter, they get a little light in there. And then uh, I got those two, or those, uh, what is there, five, five permanent holes I drilled in there. Um, those are always open. Can't close those. And you always need good venting in chicken coops. They get really dusty, like really dusty. If you don't, you know, if you don't have any, any venting, you never want to fully seal them in. It's super bad for them. Um, so between the window and the door that I pretty much always leave open in those little vent holes, it, uh, it stays pretty well vented. And then that heat lamp, um, keeps them pretty warm. So as far as insulating, I basically built this uh, pretty much like a house. Um, you can see it's two by four construction. Uh, it was chipboard inside, and then I got this. You know, it's kind of it's like a rough saw cut uh, barn style look to it. Um, so it's fully insulated. Everything in here is insulated. Uh, the ceiling is insulated. That's just that's just foam. Um, and I nailed that to the two by fours. Um, you can see the green nails. So the ceilings insulated, walls are insulated, and the ground is insulated by by the hay. There's no, there's it's just wood under here, um, and then there's nothing underneath it. It's just I figured just you lay a thick thing of hay down there, that should insulate the ground. So it's it's basically fully insulated. Um, so that's the inside. So the other thing I wanted to mention. The reason I did it elevated is to give them just a little extra space to run around. Um, and they love being under there, especially in the winter. Um, it's almost like an outdoor, like, coop for them in their run. They, they go under there, uh, and they just kind of huddle together. They like to dig around under there. Um, you know, it gave them an extra 10 by, you know, 4 feet, you know, an extra 40 square feet worth of, you know, area to peck around. So that's that's one of the main reasons I got it off the ground. Plus, it it keeps it dry. Um, if you put it out, if you put wood on the ground, you know it holds moisture and it can it can rot. And this way, the airflow underneath there um, in the summer months, it uh, it keeps it from rotting out. Throw this door back on here quick. So there's the door. You can see how it, it seals in real nice. I got two locks. Lock there. Lock there. Here's the window. If it gets real cold, you know, we can come out, you know, for the for a night or something. If it gets real cold, we can come close this. Keep a little more heat in there, but we usually just leave it open for the most part. Uh, get the dust out. Random thing, I highly suggest getting some metal uh, garbage cans or any metal container to hold your chicken food. Nothing can get in there, you know, if, especially if it's in this run here where, you know, a raccoon or nothing can, you know, come and lift it up. So here's the nest box. I built this so it's outside of the run, so we don't have to actually go in there um, to get the eggs. We can just walk out here. It's super easy. It's got a nice hinge. You can hinge it up. Uh, I mean to put a little lock on here, but uh, I just had to hold it open, but I just haven't yet. But yeah, so there's two nesting boxes. And I, we find that's plenty for, we usually have less than 10 birds. Um, and they, there's, there's no, two, two seems to be plenty. I don't know what it is. I don't know what in theory you want to have per bird, but they, this seems to do fine for the amount of birds we have. Uh, so here you can take a little look inside. Um, so 
so yeah here it is this is insulated on the sides um, the top isn't that's another, that's another thing that's not insulated but it, it seals really nice I'll show you that in a second but as you can see they nest in there we took all the eggs out already but here's kind of just how it works so it seals really nice and tight um, what you can do too is you can, you can screw a uh, rubber flap on here uh, to keep anything from falling in here, like rain um, or snow. But it, nothing really seems to get because we got a little overhang here, nothing, and we got this tree here, so nothing really, not much water and snow really gets gets in there. I'm not too worried about that. So one of my best suggestions for anyone living in cold climates like we do in Minnesota. It gets well below zero degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, every year it does. Um, really common. But what this is, is it turns on. I bought the one that turns on at 32 degrees, so at freezing temperature. And I have it hooked up to their water and their light inside. So whenever the temperature dips below 32, this turns on and their water heater turns on and their light inside turns on. Um, and then you're not wasting electricity, you know, when it's 40 or 50 degrees in the day. It's just not running. Uh, dog saw something. But uh, these are, hi I highly suggest these. I think you get different temperature ones, um, but I think 32 is good. Chickens are fine, you know, in relatively any cold. I mean, they can do with a lot of cold if, they're, if they've got a place to go. Um, but the heater is nice for them. Um, I think it, you know, it helps maybe with the egg production. Um, I've heard some people say, but uh, you definitely need it for their water. They need, they need water. If it freezes over, and it, it will freeze over, um, it can freeze over quickly. A little water dish. So, and if you forget to come out here, you know, and they, you know, one day or something, and they're out of water, that that's not good. So, highly recommended. Can't say enough about that. And obviously electric, you're going to need electric. Um, if you have chickens in a climate like this, you need electric. Well, so three years, it's done really well. We've had uh, good success. We haven't lost any chicken. We've, I think we've lost one maybe to a sickness. And then we've lost a couple to predators because um, we, we do let them out. Um, we let them out of their run every day uh, in the summer. In the winter, like I said, um, they don't, they don't really like snow, so they don't come out. Um, the last thing I want to say is what we do is we, uh, in the winter, in the fall, actually, when it starts to get cold, um, I wrap this thing completely in plastic. Um, so it basically turns this, this whole run into like a greenhouse. Um, sun can get in, but wind and weather can't. Um, so they'll, they have no snow in here. They have their whole run, their whole coop, their coop super warm. And they got freedom to run around um, in their run. And, you know, that's good. They, they get out, stretch their legs. They can peck around. Uh, we got wood chips in here. Wood chip help keep the dust down because it's, it's pretty sandy in our location. And the sand with the chickens running around in there, it stirs it up. Um, and it gets pretty dusty. But we cover with wood chips, and that definitely helps keep the, keep the dust down. We, we saw its effect this last winter. Um, but as far as what I think, I think this is a pretty good setup for chickens in a cold climate. They got, they got the super warm coop. Um, when this is sealed in, they can get out and run, stretch their legs. Um, and, you know, they always have fresh water. I mean, what more, what more can a chicken ask for? Um, so that's about it. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything... Um, if you, you know, if I might do maybe a more in-depth video, uh, down the road, we'll see, but, uh, that's it. We'll talk to you next time.